Yo guys, what's going on? It's Joe again, bringing you another Team Fortress 2 related video. So, in today's video, I'm covering my favourite... My favourite cosmetics from the Rainy Day update. This video has been a long time coming since Rainy Day happened a couple of weeks ago. Not quite sure the exact date it came out, but it has been out for some time. And we all pretty, all pretty much know the different cosmetics that came out. But I'm just going over the ones I think are the best looking and that were the best additions to the game. Just keep in mind, these are all my opinions, so don't get triggered if you hate one of the things on these on this list. And don't get grumpy if the one you think looks amazing is put sort of is isn't on this list and one you think isn't amazing is on the list. So just remember it is all my opinions, so don't get triggered. And this list is the top five, so it's literally just the concentrated thing ones which I think are the absolute best. And some of them will be, and well, all of them will be affected by my taste in cosmetics. So if you will disagree, let me know in the comments below. And if it has to do with just you thinking it being a crap hat, or there being like a problem with the hat, or whatever, I don't really know, just let me know. So that'd be cool. It'd be cool just to see what you guys think on the matter as well. So before you guys say cringy edge lord, I really like the cleanness of these cosmetics, and it's just my taste of cosmetics, so don't judge. This hat is the War Hood, in case you haven't already noticed by the picture on the screen, and it comes in at around 12 ref, which is quite a bit, but then when you look at the actual buy orders on Backpack, I mean sell orders, I'm stupid, on Backpack.tf, there are people selling it all for about 10 ref, and you're not really going to have to pay 12 ref for it. Also, there are people selling it on the community market for about 75 cents, so it's really not that expensive, and I think just one tip, it looks really good with the Dead and I. Now this cosmetic is really cool, but it costs about a key. Also it's multi-class and it is the airborne attire. And I think it looks really cool. On the heavy it looks kind of like the Dead of Night, but it has all like the heavy symbols. It, it's just a really cool cosmetic. And it can be worn on the Scout, the Heavy, and the Sniper, and I think the Soldier, but don't hold me to that. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, it can be worn on quite a few popular classes. So that's, that's a pretty cool perk it has to it. And here we have the Field Practice, which is the only medic cosmetic in this uh, update, which I was a bit... I wasn't annoyed at, but you know, it would be nice to see some more love to the medic. And I think what this hat does, it looks kind of like the Bills hat, for those of you that like the Bills and only really play medic. And I really like the headphones that get put on it, and it gives medic the sort of in-command sort of feel which he gets given throughout pretty much every TF animation there is. The medic is always seen as a sort of man who knows what he's doing and he's pretty much in charge of running the team. Also it comes in at 6 ref for 55 cents on the Steam market so it's pretty cheap too which I think is pretty good as well. So here we have the engineer's Mario cap or the plumber's cap and this hat I think is just amazing. It's it's literally just Mario with an E instead of an M, and uh, I don't know if it was, I, I think it would have been inspired by Mario. I, I am just amazed by this hat. It's just so beautiful. Although, it has one colossal downside. It costs six keys, or ten bucks, which is cheaper. I don't know why everyone says trading is cheaper. Steam community market, ten bucks. Voila. Cheaper than six keys. Anyway. This hat is just amazing, and to be honest, if I had the six keys right now, I probably would already have it in my inventory, and I would no longer have those six keys. So last off, we have one which I've heard a lot of people say is their favourite, and that is the pocket pooling. I find this one kind of creepy, probably because I watched the movie Coraline, and I hate, like, I'm 14 and that thing gave me nightmares, and people with the button eyes. Oh, it's so creepy. It's so disturbing, and this thing is so creepy. Why the scout carries around a doll of the person here has a crush on that is just like actually disturbing. Um, but I, it's a really good cosmetic, and it sort of like the field practice for the medic sort of reflects back to the personalities of the TF2 classes, which I think is one thing which makes the game so good, just the personalities and the character background we have of the classes in our game. And this thing only comes in at 10 ref, or 69 cents on the community market but you get people selling it for less everywhere so 
I don't know, I, I personally, I would pay more for this amazing cosmetic, or creepy cosmetic, um, but yeah, so it's pretty cheap, and you can pick it up for a relatively low price. So once again guys, if you agree or disagree with anything I've said in this video, be sure to let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more TF2 content, and I hope you all have a swell day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye!